Hi, welcome to this new video here at protopic.co.uk. This is assembling our heart pendant. It's a kit available through our website. Now on here we've got the heart shaped PCB and I've also, just to start with, put an LED on here as well because we do need to show you where the negative is on the LED. You'll see on these pads here they're actually marked with a minus next to one of the pads indicating where the minus would be. Now if you look on the bottom of the LED you'll see there's a stripe with an arrow coming off of it. This is pointing to the negative of the LED and if I turn that over you'll see at one end there's a small green marking. That green marking is also indicating where the negative of the LED is. So what we're going to do is go ahead and start assembling this unit. Now the first thing to do is tin one of the pads of the LEDs so what I'll do is I'll clean my soldering tip and I'll go around and put solder on one of the pads of each of the LEDs. I'll also put it on this pad here. Now this is going to be for a capacitor and we'll also do one of the legs for the chip as well. Now one of the things you will need to assemble this kit is a nice pair of tweezers. Now I'm using curved tweezers here, it's just my preference, though we do sell curved and straight tweezers through the website as well. You can't really use long nose pliers for this job as the, the parts are just that little bit too small to grip. Now what we're going to do is put this capacitor on, so that's on the board. Now this is non-polarised so you can put this on the board any way around. So we'll take hold of the capacitor, come in with a soldering iron, use the tip to heat the pad up, put the capacitor on its place, take the tip away and then let go. And you can just double check your tweezers, make sure that's actually on there firmly. Now we have a couple of choices, we can go around and put each of the individual components on and then come back and solder the other end of the component. But just to make sure that I don't forget it, what I'd normally do is come along and do it as I put each component or set of components down. Just a little bit of solder and out. That is now soldered in place. So what I'm going to do now is move around and put each of the LEDs on. I always tend to work from the lowest component up to the highest one, that way I'm not having to reach around anything with the tweezers. You know, the battery component, the battery uh, contact on here is the tallest, then the next tallest would be the chip and then below that we've got the capacitor, the LED and the switch um, on here which are pretty much all the same sort of height. So what I'll do is I'll go in, now making sure that my green part is to the negative, I'm going to put LED1 on. Now the only thing with the LEDs is you do have to be relatively quick when you solder them on as they are made of plastic on the top and you can't melt the plastic if you're uh, holding your solder line there for too long so what we'll do is we'll go in heat up the solder in and straight out and if you do that as quick as you possibly can obviously trying to keep the the soldering neat as well you can see that that LED is now in place clean my tip put my solder on and then touch it with the end of the soldering iron. Now I'm having to reach around the, the workspace. Normally you would put this down and you would spin it as required to make the angles easier for you to get the soldering iron in. Unfortunately I don't have the luxury with the video here um, as I've actually got this um, blue tacked down to the desk. Keep it in frame. If I started spinning it about it would go out of frame quite easily. So what I'll do is I'll go on and I'll solder the rest of the LEDs and I'll be back shortly. Okay, now that's all the LEDs in place. So the next component I'm going to put on will be the chip. Now the chip is what flashes the LEDs, gives you the nice heartbeat effect. Now looking at the chip, pop this in here. You should be able to see at this top corner there's a small dot and also on here there's a small dot. Now this is indicating pin 1. It's a fairly universal standard with microchips. You'll either have a dot here or you might have a, a half moon cut out of this section here 
Um, this is uh, indicating the, the top end of the chip and it's numbered one down and then from the bottom up. So this is one down to four, then five up to eight. It's quite handy if you're building kits in the future. Not every uh, instruction manual I've seen actually covers the, the pin numbering on the chips. Now mounting this chip is slightly different to mounting the LEDs, but it still starts with the same and mounting one pin. So what we do is we line it up as best we can, heat up that one pin, move the chip in, take the heat away, wait for the solder to set, and as you can see it's lined up nicely with the pins. Now just pressing down on the top, heat that leg, we're now got the chip flat against the board. That's just a case of going round, usually starting the opposite pin diagonally from the first pin that you've soldered. And this will anchor the chip into place. And you see it's an in and out movement with the soldering iron. Now you may want to go back and tidy these up a little bit. So a clean soldering iron should pull any excess solder you've got off. And don't forget to go back over the original pin as well. Now next up we've got the switch. Now if you have a look on the back of the switch you've got two locating pins. I don't know if you can see those on the video, but they do stick up from the board very, very slightly there. And they're used for aligning the switch onto the board. You can see it's not always easy handling these small parts. So put that on, move it around until it drops into place. and then go around and again start with one pin that's looking fine, I don't need to realign anything go to a pin that's further away clean my tip As you can see, I caught the solder there with the, the wrong side of the tip. So back in. Right, there we go, that's the switch all soldered in. Now finally we have the battery clip. Now, the battery clip is going to get hot when you're soldering, so if you watch your fingers, and ideally you don't want to be uh, holding it with your, your fingers at all. And what I normally just put a small blob of solder on one side, flood it, come off, then on to the last side, just not want to work so just turn so nice so that the solder that was stuck on the tips pressing against the metal now, there we go. Now we'll just double check and make sure that we've got all the components, now here's one connection here that I actually missed, so that would have stopped that particular LED from flashing. I'll just solder that. Okay, so everything there soldered, that soldered. Nice. So what we'll do, make sure the switch is in the off position. Slide the battery in just to give it a quick check. 
and then turn on and there we go, got a nice heartbeat effect. <laughs> 